Welcome back to Navarro, and in lesson 6.2, which is probably one of my favorite lessons so far, we're going to create our own components. And to do that, we want to go to the components folder inside of our Navarro AI website. So I'm going to open the components folder from last time. And as you can see at the bottom, I have something called startercode.tsx. And what I've done here is I've made the skeleton of new components. So all you have to do is import anything you need to import right up here. And then just delete this comment and add all your HTML inside. Once you do that, you can edit it as you please. So what we're building today is a contact me component. So the first thing we want to do is make a copy of this. So what I'm going to do is click copy, click control V. And the first thing I want to do is rename the file itself. I'm going to click rename and call it contact me. Next, I also want to rename the name of the function itself. So I'll call this contact me. Now that all that setup is out of the way, I'm going to actually add HTML to the inside of our contact me page. To do that, I'm going to copy all this code over here and also make sure to put everything inside the section tags, which you see over here. They're pretty important because they help us keep our components consistently spaced on our website. So I'm just going to copy this comments, press control V and let's see what happened to our website. Well, nothing is going to happen because we didn't actually call this new component we made. To do that, we want to navigate to page.tsx. From If you remember from last video, page.tsx is where our landing pages and all our pages are. So the first step in adding our new component to our page.tsx is importing it. So I'm gonna type import and then the name of the function itself I named it contact me with the capital M because that was the name of the function itself. And then from, and I'm just going to copy whatever we have written above here and use that as an example, but we didn't import the about file. We import the contact me file and because there's no underlines, we know it works. However, it's still grayed out. So to fix that, we actually have to call it inside of our page. So just following these little comments that we have here, it says this is our main page and to place components inside. So to make a component, you have to have an opening tag and then using a capital C because that's what we named our components. I can type contact me and then we don't need an opening and closing tag. We can just go straight to a closing tag and I'm just going to add a quick spacing here to make it look a little bit better. And now let's check out what's happening on our website. There we go. Looks like we have a contact me on our website. And yeah, what I recommend you guys do is if you ever forget how to make a new component, just come back to this quick video and get yourself a refresher. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in 6.3.